A typical monitoring scenario uses two or more instruments connected in a cascade configuration, such as in a switchboard or in a single work area. In this case, the connection to the Gateway Data Logger EXCGLA01 is direct. You can cascade the instruments to the Gateway Data Logger terminal via an RS-485 cable. Make an in and out for the two serial cables A and B, and for the reference negative to connect the DIN-mounted DMG210. Following this diagram, Also, extend the serial cable like this. For the last instrument in the network, in this case a DMG800 panel mount DMG800, just connect the two serial cables A and B, plus the reference negative. To terminate the network correctly, simply bridge cable A and TR, which stands for termination resistance, to add the network termination resistor. To configure an instrument within an RS-485 serial network, connected to the gateway data logger, Simply press the menu button, select Setup, and your language in the Utility field. In the Communication field, configure the serial node number, like this, assigning a unique node to each instrument. In this example, we have selected one. Then you must select the baud rate parameter, such as 38400. Then press the menu button until the instrument restarts to save the parameters. It just takes a few steps to configure the DMG800, connected in a serial network via RS-485 to the Gateway Data Logger. Press Menu, select the language by entering Setup and then Utility. In the Communication field, identify the installed communication port COM1. In this case, connected to the EXP1012 expansion. Set the serial node number like this, making sure you always assign a unique number. In this example, we have selected 2. You also have to select the baud rate. Select 38400. Finish the configuration by pressing the menu button until the device restarts.